Here's a pair of the JLab JBuds mini earbuds. I'm going to show you how to pair and connect these directly to a MacBook or iMac via Bluetooth wireless connection. So the first thing we want to do is put the earbuds into pairing mode. So go ahead and take the buds out of the case and as soon as you take it out, look for the lights on there. Give it a few seconds and then if it's in pairing mode, which we want, you'll know if one of the buds is blinking blue, white, blue, white, blue, white. I'm not getting any lights on either of these buds. The reason is because I'm currently connected to my iPhone. So let me go to my iPhone here. Let me go to Bluetooth or settings. I'm going to go to Bluetooth here. We're going to go to Bluetooth and then yeah, you can see I'm connected there. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn off Bluetooth now. Okay, as soon as I turn off Bluetooth, look at the earbuds here. Ready? Off. Hey, one of them is blinking. Blue, white, blue, white. Now it's in pairing mode. Now let's hurry up and go to the MacBook here. And we're going to go to the Bluetooth settings. You can go navigate to the Apple logo top left hand side. Scroll down to system settings. And then we're going to go down to select Bluetooth. Now make sure Bluetooth is toggled on right there. Okay, now I got a lot of devices, headphones, and earbuds that are paired to this, but if you scroll down, under nearby devices, you see that little spinny thing right there? It's searching for devices that is in pairing mode near me. These are still in the pairing mode. One of the buds is still blinking blue, white, blue, white. And it did find the J Buds Mini right there. Let's go over here and let's connect it. Give it one second here and voila. Now you can see it's under my devices. It's currently connected. I have other devices that are paired, but they're not connected. Okay, the only, the J, J, uh, J Lab Mini is connected right now. Now if you had any kind of issue pairing or connecting or you couldn't even get into pairing mode, you can always factory reset these if you need to do that. Look below in the link in the or look uh, below in the description area.